So a lot of guys have requested this one again and some people still have problems with the lag uh, in Rust. I can tell you one thing for sure and that it's most of the time it doesn't even have to do anything with, with the game itself. It is rather something that is going on the, on the background on your PC. Now let me show you what, I, what, what I'm talking about. Now, well you can ignore all of this, all of the other stuff. If you go to your task manager and go to the performance tab over here and click on the resource monitor it's going to bring you up to this this it's going to bring up a new window which is called the resource monitor i know i've discussed this in my previous video but i'm just going to go into more depth this time and i'm going to show you which uh which of these uh which of these services is causing the cp the high cpu load and why um actually i have it turned off let me show you uh yeah it's saying I have to solve one PC problem. It's not really a problem, so I just have it turned off. And the one that I'm talking about is SVC host, and it, it would be something like this. And once you get into this, um, once you get into the resource monitor and go into your CPU and click on the threads and align them like from the highest one to the lowest one you will see that the svc host is probably would some, probably be somewhere around here so yeah this one is probably going to be around somewhere around the top three places actually i got a pretty nice pc i mean you can see the you can see the cpu that i got and i got a pretty I mean, I got one of the best graphics cards you can get, so it's definitely not my PC, and the game didn't have any kind of issues. I mean, the performance in the in-game was constantly improved, so it was definitely not something that was that was that was related to to the game itself. And I mean, this fix could probably be useful for other games as well. So uh, let me get back to the topic. So if you find this SVC host and you go into the process tree. So if you try to, so if you get into the SVC host and click on end process tree or end process, you will you will end it for for a short period of time and it will start up again. Now what is this SVC host dot um, exe anyways? This is actually a process tree and it has a couple of uh, couple of services running in the background and the one that is responsible for causing the high CPU usage is is the Windows Update Service and. If you want to turn this off, you can go into services, type it like this, and just search for it. Go into Windows Update. Now, let me increase this a bit. And go into Windows Update. Here it goes. Now, once you go, once you right click on it, go to properties, you will see that I have disabled the startup type. And yeah, and all of my problems were solved. I don't have any, any high CPU load. I don't have any high CPU usage usages anymore. I mean, even even if even if it was at 50% or something, my CPU could have easily handled it because I got a I got a beast for a PC, so it's really no problem for me. For, but for anyone who has a like an i3 or an i5 processor or maybe an AMD something along the line like an FX processor, you're going to have a couple of problems with with this. Once you turn this off, you can, you're basically going to be fine. Well, you should be. So, one more time, go in, go into the services, type in services, open this up, and find a Windows update service. This one. Go into properties and disable the startup type. Click OK. You, you're probably gonna going to have to restart your your PC after this one, so the effects will take place. But yeah. And anytime you want to update your Windows, you feel like you 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 feel like you're missing some kind of updates. You just go into it again, and yeah, basically just start it up again. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you out. If you like this video at any point, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. See you guys later.